ka Philippines. <laughs> I'm that, so proud of okay, that. If you don't bend, you... That, I do believe in saying that, you know, you get to know someone by spending time with them. Yeah. Hearing their stories and it is through their stories and backgrounds that you That really you would learn, learn. yes, yeah. exactly. So... That life is about giving, that life is about sharing, that mm-hmm. life is about relationship. And you yes. won't be able to sustain a relationship if you're very self-centered and if you think that that life just revolves around you. Welcome to Thought Bubble with Jay. I am your host, Jesse, a corporate analyst, side hustler, and an advocate of creating good intent. So let's burst those thought bubbles and turn them into convos. Let's speak our minds and dive into the nitty gritty of it all. Whether it's mental health, adulting, creativity, faith, and life in general, join the conversation by using the hashtag convos with Jay for your comments and suggestions. And oh, hitting the subscribe button is greatly appreciated. Thanks for listening. Wag kang mahiya kay Burr. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome to Thought Bubble with Jay. My name is Jessie and today we're going to be doing something different on the podcast. I'd like to pretend that this is a show. Well, technically it is. But I'd like to interview extraordinary people and look at their lives just a little bit closer so that we can be inspired to learn about their life journey. So if you're new on the podcast, this next person that I will be interviewing is someone that you've heard on the podcast during the Monday Hot Seaters. Um, if you've heard about the topic on Black Lives Matter as well as the Big Sang Awards, then you know who I am referring to. He is a good friend. He is well-traveled. He's a financial guru. And he is the person behind my YouTube videos as well as the photographer for the photos that I have on my Instagram, those Instagrammable, and it is his birthday today. So without further ado, happy birthday, Bien. Thank you, Jesse. Bienvenido. Yeah. That is welcome in yeah, Italian. Yeah, welcome in Italy, yeah. In Italian. Right? So, 35. Yeah, I'm 35 now. I just turned 35. 35. So, first question. What is the first thing that you did upon waking up today? Oh... The, the first thing that I did earlier was to check my phone. <laughs> yeah, because I need check to check, your phone. check your phone. <laughs> because I need to check what time is it. Mm-hmm. And surprisingly, I normally wake up around 8 o'clock. But I don't know, for some reason, I woke up at around 6 o'clock. So You're excited when, to celebrate. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's why afterwards, I, I tried to sleep again. Then after checking my phone, uh, it's 8 o'clock. Then I pray to God. I thank Him mm. for the last 35 years 35 years is a really yeah, long time it is now we are in pandemic right mm-hmm. and with all the borders closed and you being a person who loves traveling Travel, yeah. yeah so how what are the sort of adjustments that you've made i mean how does it affect you that borders are closed and normally you celebrate your birthday somewhere yeah. outside Singapore or you do something you know different not just yeah, last time in. I was in Myanmar you were in Myanmar on yeah. your 34th so yeah. how different is today well except of course that we're celebrating his birthday here yeah. with only five guests yes five. maximum maximum five guests <laughs> per so visit. how does it impact you yeah when it comes being to being someone who loves traveling yeah when it comes to traveling maybe I I, I just come to terms uh, when it comes to that like I already have accepted that mm. I won't be able to travel this year like I do have a lot really? of plans like accepted <laughs> somehow <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be in US by mid-October this so, year right yeah and this year but you're also going to London right yeah supposed to be last July so you had everything yeah. planned out yeah but Unfortunately, <laughs> Unfortunately God has its own plans. But as of now, I'm okay. I You're mean, okay. I already accepted it. At the same time, I realized that I got to save some money because of this. And okay. I, I tend to value more my, my time here in Singapore. Like, I, I was able to explore different places here, like different coffee shops. Mm-hmm. And so spend that's more time. Travel. Yeah, that's, that's a new travel. travel. Okay. So... <laughs> Was it hard adjusting? You know, for someone who's always traveling, 
Was at first, at yeah. First? Okay. Because I, I'm a I'm a guy who always loves to plan. Like I do have my travel plans until 2022. Mm. But then you realize now, oh shucks, everything will be cancelled this year. Yeah. <laughs> so you so your timeline or your plan for this year was eventually gone. So what's next? Okay. Sure. So that's sort of a setback for you this yeah. year. But you learn to adapt in to some adapt, ways. Yeah. So and just I sorry. I do learn to be more grateful that yeah, I think that's being that's alive this year is such uh, enough blessing that you you can receive from God. Yeah, absolutely agree. Mm -hmm. Now speaking of blessings, mm -hmm. let's just turn back the clock quite a little bit and talk about the highlights of your past year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that means from October last year to yeah the, t the past twelve months. The fa past twelve okay. months. <laughs> okay. So highlights. last year October we were in Myanmar. So I think that's one of the highlights. Mm -hmm. We managed to visit Bagan and Yangon with uh, some of my friends. Been. Then Christmas celebration, I was in the Philippines, so I, I got to spend Christmas, Christmas. in there. Yeah, Good luckily, luckily. I've never been home. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is my third year. Oh, year. third year. So yeah. it's good that you were able to go back last yeah, year. So luckily. that's one of the highlights. What else? Then we managed to go to Baguio, Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes, so proud of okay. that. If you know, Bien, you, that would come as a surprise because local travel is not yeah. really your thing. You would normally go for the big travels and just yeah. look, you know, the small ones kind of yeah. be pushed back. But surprisingly, I love it. I mean, I I've been Baguio. to Baguio for, I think, three or four times already. So it's my fourth time, if I'm not mm. mistaken. And this time it was different because I'm with my family. Okay. Not just my yeah. my family, but the entire family, like all my aunties, my uncles, and some of my nephews and nieces. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we were there, I was I was surprised that oh I really I didn't expect that this would be this fun. Okay. Like I didn't know You're that spending quality time with them. Yeah, I didn't know that they are so that they are in that character whenever they're in mm -hmm. trouble. Like they yeah. love photography the way mm -hmm. I did. And, Oh, I didn't know that they have this you certain part. Them, I, think. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> You're the one with the camera. Yeah. Always. So, will that be your most favorite recent memory as of late, or is there something that will top that? When it comes to my family, yeah, I think that that would be the one. What about outside family? Is there a outside like a, your family favorite recent <laughs> memory? Um, I think being uh, quarantined. Really. Yeah, someone. Being quarantined I, is his. <laughs> I don't know if that would be. <laughs> but I learned. Like, I learned a lot during the CB period. I, I mean, yeah. here in Singapore, we call it circuit breaker. Mm -hmm. But during those times, I realized that I do. Uh, watch all this. I do find the time to reflect on what That's are good. my goals. What What are the things that mm -hmm. I should be doing? Like I was questioning myself. Am I really doing the purpose that God wants me to, to do or wants me to have? So now we're talking about purpose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if it's okay. just me, but during those times, because I'm, I'm not allowed to go out of the house because I'm mm -hmm. under a sick home notice. So during those times, I was just questioning myself, like, is it really what, what should I be doing now? <laughs> okay. So let's talk about purpose quite a bit. In regard to that, you've always been... A person who manages finances quite well. Yeah. So, do you have any tips that you can share? When it comes to finances, I don't know if I'm. I could be considered a financial manage to Travel at the same time, support someone back in the Philippines, and then save and yeah. then do stocks on the side. Mm, okay. So for me, I think I have three words to to share. First, is awareness. Uh, I do have an Excel file regarding all my, my finances. So I do track all the expenses that's going out, mm -hmm. like all the groceries and everything. But now I, I tend to realize that I should not be tracking about my expenses. I should be tracking about the income. So now I was actually Ooh, praying to God, okay. the, Lord, why am I just tracking my expenses? Why don't, why don't I try to track now my income? Like, Lord, please give me the wisdom to have... <laughs> To have this uh, knowledge on how to set up a business, on how to create different income streams. So wait, back up a bit. So instead of tracking your expenses, you'd rather track your income. 
Yeah. This is a kind of a different way of like looking at your finances as a whole. Yeah, I'm trying to do it uh, recently. Mm-hmm. Like, I do have another Excel file for all those incomes so that I list down all of those okay. so that I'm praying that, Lord, I know it. Uh, I know someday some of these Excel, shall I list the Excel mm-hmm. cells yeah. will be able to fill up with some amount. Yeah. Okay. First, so first is awareness. Yeah. Second one is uh, generosity. Mm, Whenever okay. I felt like I'm lacking, I always try to give to someone. Because whenever I felt that there's some scarcity, mm. then oh, I, re- I, I, I would really okay. felt that I'm having this scarcity. So whenever I felt those feelings, mm-hmm. I tried to give to someone so that I won't be able to feel that there's some scarcity. And okay. lastly, I think this is very common, mm. like uh, e- savings minus income equals expense. So you savings need- Savings minus income equals expense spends. or okay. income minus savings okay yeah we have income <laughs> minus income minus savings ex- equals expense so In, you set well, aside the savings income first. minus saving equals expense okay so you set aside Account. first all your savings after you receive your salary or all the incomes that you have mm-hmm. then you set it aside then afterwards lived on the on the expense or the amount that you allotted for your expenses Okay. So somehow I do manage to <laughs> to make it workable. So me. first is awareness, generosity, and then uh, one. that that one uh, income minus savings equals expense. Income minus savings yeah. equals expense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that that's quite new. So first <laughs> is looking at your expense. So it's like counting your blessings first. Yes. Like looking at what you're yes. lacking in a way, mm-hmm. and then of course the gener- generosity part. You've always been generous. To yeah. me and to a lot of people not just monetary i mean yeah of course it, we're not just talking about yeah. mo- you know monetary uh, mm-hmm. generosity but you've always been very generous so the last <laughs> one is <laughs> um income sorry savings is it income minus savings equals expense, expense yeah. okay I'm, I'm gonna write that down so that i won't forget <laughs> so i'm curious to know um is was there a major turning point in your life which led you to where you are now just looking back the past 35 years yeah was there like a major turning point oh, that's a tough <laughs> one <laughs> a tough um thing. and yeah it, so once you yeah once you share that can, can you tell us the story and how why it is your major turning point okay um when it comes to my career or mm-hmm. How do you say it? Personal personality. I think the major turning point was when I when I moved here. Okay. I don't know for some reason, maybe because I I managed to to meet different people of different uh, background mm-hmm. of different philosophy of different culture that helps me to raise the way I live my life. I mean the standard of living that I'm living. Like okay. for example, you. Mm-hmm. If you know me before, if you knew me before, I'm the type of person who would just like to. To be in the house, I I love to go out, but I didn't ap- appreciate that much the gallery, the museum, <laughs> the. <laughs> I kind of dragged you into the yeah. <laughs> so thanks to you for bringing and me to all of those of the art fa- festival, mm-hmm. the musical, the theater, the movies. Oh, I gosh. don't know all of those before. Okay. <laughs> so Lali, yeah, you are I part. Of <laughs> looks like I made an impact. Yeah. And some of my friends in the church, yeah. some of them are old enough to share their wisdom. Yeah. That I, I, I was thinking like, oh, this guy has a lot of points. I didn't know that this could be applicable to my life as well. Okay. So I, ten, I think I, I learned a lot from those people that I managed to meet here in Singapore. I think I have to agree. It's, it's really when we meet new people or we let some people in on our lives mm-hmm. and we share lives with them yeah i do believe in saying that you know you get to know someone by spending time with them yeah. hearing their stories and it is through their stories and backgrounds that you, that really you would learn, learn. yes yeah. exactly so so that's your major turning point coming here I, I think so yeah then aside from that i mean working here in singapore you would realize that you're blessed I mean, Absolutely. maybe financially because you won't be, you would be financially 
what is it? How to say it? I mean, you would be financially free. Mm-hmm. You won't. There would be enough money for you to to live your life, to give to your family, and also to 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 do more for your leisure. Like, I, okay. because I was able to work here, I managed to travel because there's there's more. <laughs> I don't know. How does it? Did you say that you have more now to spend? I think so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah, you, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's just turn back time twenty years back. Uh-huh. Okay. If you are facing your fifteen-year-old self, what are the three things that you would tell him? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Okay, look right. in the mirror and then tell me what you can. What will you say to your fifteen-year-old self? Okay. So first one, the world doesn't revolve around you. That is so true. That uh, is so true. The world during those times, I always yeah. think that I'm the center of the universe. Like I want to be so competitive that mm-hmm. everyone will just look at me. Everyone will we'll look up at attention. me. That. Yeah, that the center of attraction will be, uh, attention will be upon me, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I realize now that it's not, it's not a good way to live your life. Okay. That life is about giving. That life is about sharing. That mm-hmm. life is about relationship, and you yes. won't be able to sustain a relationship if you're very self-centered and if you think that that life just revolves around you. So okay. that's number one. Mm-hmm. Number two. Um, be a good brother, uh, son, and friend. During the, those times, I think I'm not, I'm not that good. I'm not that kind. Okay. I'm not the friendly person that you <laughs> you knew right. Now. I'm not sure if I'm that friendly enough. <laughs> but during yeah, those times, I <laughs> think <laughs> I think most of the people around me doesn't like me that much because really? I just. Yeah, I'm just so okay. full of myself. Okay. Like I do have this stereo stereotype. I, I mean, I do have this persona that I'm very mysterious. Mm. That I don't want to. Whenever I go outside, uh, some of the people I know close to me, they know that I'm very loud. But whenever I go outside, I'm very mysterious. Something okay, like this that. This is yeah. like a split personality. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So what's the third one? So first is. That the world doesn't revolve around you. Next is that to be a good person. Person, yeah. Right? And also to my brother and sister. During yeah. those times, I don't think I'm a good brother. We always fight a I lot. Fall off my bed. <laughs> we <laughs> always hurt. fight a lot, and I don't even support them. Okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, right. you live your own life. I'll yeah. do my own. <laughs> so, what is the third thing that you will tell your 15 year old self? Um, given the chance to go back, I think you should know what you really want uh learn to discern what you really want to do with your life at 15 that's kind of hard you know yeah <laughs> but during those times i i think the major purpose of my life is just to to set to raise the standard of my family like uh like we, from pop- been, yeah yeah we've like from poverty you want think. yeah like from poverty you would be the savior of your family that you need to raise them from poverty to to richness <laughs> So growing up, that was my motivation to study. That was my motivation to strive hard. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing right? wrong I mean, with that. But that really the side effect is sort of you realize that yeah. you do things that you really don't. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, maybe I was questioning myself now. Like, because I was raised with that, uh, with that mentality. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I really do what I really want to do with my life right now. I see. Okay, the, the follow-up question would be somehow related to that. So just recap, it's the world doesn't revol- revolve around you. Be a good person, yeah. a sister or brother. Uh, and then the last one is that know what you, know really, want what you really want in, in life. life. So looking back, okay, 10 years ago, like a decade ago, is this how you see yourself now? Is this how you, yeah, you see yourself from, from that point? To definitely know. not. <laughs> yeah. How, how, I how different? <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely not. But I'm really thankful to God. I'm really, I'm really grateful that God has been graciously, ab- uh, graciously good to me, mm. to surround me with different people, who supports me, who I know genuinely loves me. That. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <what you> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. So that that kind of helps me to to express myself better. Yeah. Like before, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really curious about. I think this person will judge me. This yeah. person will judge me. Like I, I always think about what other people will will say about me. Yeah. But now I, I'm just so grateful to God that God has uh, surrounded me with people who's very supportive, who's giving life with their words, with their actions, with their gifts. Yeah, so I think it kind of helped me a lot with the way I perceive life now, with the way I see tomorrow, with the way I see the future. That's yeah. deep. <laughs> but thank you, Ben. So, a kind of the follow-up question that I have is kind of related to that as well. Like, uh -huh. You talk about creativity, and for most people who know you, you love, of course, traveling, right? <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> you love I'm most known. <laughs> yeah, for, for, for being traveling. A traveling. But the other thing that pe most people don't know probably is that you're very good at video editing and photography, and I mm. am. Uh, I can definitely attest to that. So, <laughs> thank you. Uh, when did you realize that you have passion for all of these things? <laughs> okay. Was there like a you know a light bulb moment or like I call it like the the toilet mo moment because most of the toilet time moment. My, yeah most of the time some of or my in the ideas, shower yeah in the shower <laughs> when I'm, you know sorry it's too much information but yeah. what about you how did you was there like a, a moment that it it just everything just clicked and you knew right there and that this is really what I want to pursue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, so it's a toilet moment. That, that is, that is I'm not sure if that's a toilet moment. <laughs> <laughs> but if you knew me for the last seven years or ten years, especially when the social media started, mm -hmm. you would know that I really love to post a lot. I know. In the last, <laughs> I'm kidding. especially the last, kidding. in the first five years. Yeah. It's, it's like I'm always posting all the stuff that I'm doing, like I'm going to the oh, gym, so I'm you're going... That, so you're that kind of person. Before, who... <laughs> I was the worst. <laughs> like looking back now, if I'm going to scroll my, my Instagram account, what have I posted Why did before? I post Why did you even post yeah, yeah. yeah, I know what I, I know what you mean. Yeah, but during those times, I realized that, okay, mm -hmm. maybe it helps me to improve my craft, especially yeah. with photography. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that there's a turning point, I think 2017, when there's a changes in the technology, I mm -hmm. managed to buy some gadgets that will help me improve with my photography. And you know me, when I, whenever I go for travel, I oh, do yeah. my best, like, oh, not just yes. with the itiner itinerary, <laughs> but also with the clothing, with the way I would pose, with the way I would project with the camera. Mm -hmm. Because I do have this mentality that I need to do it because I may not be able to go back to that place again. So might okay. as well do your best, enjoy, explore everything that you can do in that location so that 30 years from now, you would be thankful to yourself that so you have like done making yours. the most out of the moment, out yeah, of the place, out exactly. of the situation. Then knowing okay. the area is that, oh, surprisingly, I got a good shot here. Then, oh, I got another good <laughs> shot here. Then it's like, oh, maybe I have raised my standard already. Okay. Then people appreciate it eventually. Then yeah. they realize, oh, That's, look, I, they're I really don't, good. They're yeah, really I, good. I didn't realize that I'm good at photography. Then, yeah, when people realize, uh, when people message me like, oh, this one is really good. And I go, oh, okay, maybe I'm really good at photography. Same with videography. Before, yeah. I don't, I'm not that good. I mean, if you will see the first videos that I've done, especially for travel, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but now, well, I realize that, oh, okay, I can do something to make it better, to make it more memorable, mm -hmm. so that, uh, uh, one thing that I realize whenever I'm doing vid video editing is, I should consider the people watching this one, especially the audience. The audience. Mm -hmm. like, like, for example, if, if the target is my audience, then I need to make it like cinematic or something like that, that I need to highlight the best. Yeah, yeah so I think it, it would kind of help you improve your craft if you know the target audience that you're, that you're, I mean, the reason why you are doing those stuff. Okay, so the why. The why. So, okay. We're getting nearer to the more serious <laughs> question. So the, the, the I'm <laughs> scared. <laughs> okay. Getting nervous. So this is kind of the you know the, the usual question that most people would throw into someone who's celebrating their birthday. But what do you want to tell your future self? Um, I mean, any advice, suggestions that um, that you self. would want to remember and learn from. 
future self. You mean if I'm in the future? No, to your future self. Oh, to my future self. Ah, uh, bien. <laughs> Be more loving. Uh, appreciate the relationship that you have right now. Appreciate the peace that you have right now. Enjoy the moment. Live your life. Love more. Love God. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's really good. So, if there is something that you would take from this decade mm -hmm. to 2030, what will it be? From this decade? Yeah. <laughs> If you are oh, sorry, oh, right. let me rephrase. If you are to keep something from twenty twenty, and take it all the way to twenty thirty, what will it be? Okay, the first thing that comes to mind is peace. Peace, yeah. Yeah, peace like, of I mind. Think like, like last, that. like last Wednesday, we we're talking about mental health, and I realized that I think God has been gracious to me to give me this state of mind that somehow I'm at peace. I mean, I'm not happy that we have this pandemic. Mm -hmm. But I do have this peace of mind now that I don't have before. Okay. So if given a chance, hopefully I will still have this mental state or this peace of mind that I have. And bring it until 2030. Peace. Or until... <laughs> Let's just not say until 2030 because it's something that we definitely yeah. need for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Okay. Okay, number one is peace. Number two is the relationship. Yeah. Not just the friends, but genuine relationship mm -hmm. and life-giving relationship. Like friendship with you, friendship with church mate, with life group, with family, mm -hmm. and uh, colleagues, office colleagues. Yeah, I think one of the things that I'm grateful for are the relationships, relationships that I have right now. They're not perfect. I'm not perfect. No but, worries. But I'm, I'm glad that I got to share share my life with them and I got to learn their life also and learn from, from it. Beautifully said. Yeah. Especially <laughs> so, your life. I'm learning a lot from it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I, I'm lear I learned a lot from you as well and I'm, that's why I'm grateful for the friendship that we have and that's why we're doing this. It's yeah. sort of my gift to you. <laughs> no, there is one more but no, my final question again would be if let's say there will be a documentary or like a bio oh. about you and you mean movie? <laughs> okay, let's just, okay. let's just say movie. Who what would be would, the actor? What? No, what will be the title? Let's say if you are to capture it in a five word title. Oh my goodness. Just five words. <laughs> what will be the title of the documentary or that bio? I was actually initially thinking that it would be titled as Bien, This is the Beginning. But I don't know if that's a good title for the last, for the for the 35 years. Yeah, it's sappy. <laughs> but okay, if that's a title that you would want for your film, then I will take I will, <laughs> I will think of a better title next time. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking of the actor, actually. <laughs> not the title. Yeah, sorry. So, okay, Just so the title, not the actor. <laughs> so the actor who would play, your, who would play you in a film? I, I, don't, I don't want to answer. <laughs> okay. I will get bashed. <laughs> so before we end, before we end this, Time capsule birthday interview. Uh, I'd like to give you your gift. Well, so again, you have, I do have a gift. So okay. you're not expecting any gift from me. I shouldn't no. have. I thought this is the have. gift. No. So yeah, I just want to say happy, happy birthday and thank you thank for being you. in my life and for be for including me on the top five guys. Top first, five. First, first top five. So you only get to have five guests and I'm part of the first five. Yeah. But really. Happy birthday. You yeah. deserve all the love, all Thank the success. You. And I'm grateful that we're part of the community together. You're like um, family and yeah, it's all written sorry. in my letter. I'm not, I'm not going to disclose a lot, but <laughs> thank you. And I'll always be here. Hopefully, wherever life takes us, <laughs> we'll still yeah. be in the same country, continent, I may be. <laughs> but let me just get the gift. Just give me one second. <laughs> I'm not sure if you will like it though. Wow. I might just stop your Instagram. Ah, is this the one that you yeah, were that's, doing last night? Yeah, that's the one that I was doing oh. at 1 in the morning. I, I, I was supposed to comment on it and tell you that, is it supposed to be up for me? You're, <laughs> you're I, assuming. I, I want to be that assumptionist. Assumptions. 
<laughs> can I open it? Yeah, you can you can open the letter and then Do you I can just it? read it later. No, you just read it later and then you destroy the envelope. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the most No 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 no. Okay, so that, that's the card, the postcard. So just yeah, just keep it, don't read it yet. And thank you, that's, thank you. That's the the other gift. You can pour the Can? Yeah, you can. <laughs> that that you can. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, <laughs> this one you, you're not supposed to keep. You're supposed to keep. I'm so sorry. I'm not sure though. You see, ac acrylic is not really my medium, but I tried. Wow, what's this? I'm not sure if you would recognize. Wow! It's <laughs> 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 <That's> awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that, the post of that May 20th. And Do I look like this one? <laughs> not sure. I tried so hard. Like, you know, oh, I had, thank you. I had a hard time with the hair. Because <laughs> it's so like that. But happy, happy birthday. And yeah, yeah this, thank you so I, I love much that for photo this. because it's, it. it's so, it looks so peaceful and so it matches calming. your shirt. <laughs> Yeah, this is the motto of the day. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the theme of the day. So happy, happy birthday again, and thank you for guesting again uh, on the podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching, for listening. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye guys. Happy birthday. <laughs>